Okay, everybody. <clears throat> Natural logarithms are logs with base E. So if you look at your calculator, I'm sure you've seen it there, but you have the log button, which is next to number seven, and then underneath that you have LN, okay? We don't write log E2, like we don't write it like that. That's not the way we wrote it. Some mathematician guy, and it's actually written like this, LN2. And, but what LN means is log of base E. That's what it really means, okay? Why did they do LN and not NL is sometimes the question I get because we call it natural logs, but it's, um, it comes from the Latin word. I think it's like logarithmicus naturalis or whatever, and that's where they put LN. So that's what they chose. <coughs> so this is what we're going to do today. So we learned common logs. Common logs were base 10, and then... Logs of base E would be what we call the natural log LN. And this is really your best friend. You really shouldn't have to use log base 10 anymore. You do LN for everything. And the reason why is LN gets rid of everything, including E's. So that's why we choose to use it more often. But just to refresh you again, to make you aware, this is your Y equals E to the X, e to the X goes through 1, goes through 1E, one e, okay? And then your ln, y equals ln x, if you were to graph it, that's what it would look like. We did some, something similar to this before. If you flip over the y equals x line, then what are these two functions? Inverse. Inverses, exactly. They are inverses. And that's really important because to undo an E, you LN it. To undo an LN, you E it. So there are inverse operations like a square and a square root, like a plus and a minus, okay? And on your calculator, you can even see it right here if you have LN, right above it is E, that they're inverses. Log to inverse log, we called it anti-log, or you would just do 10 to the whatever. When we do trig next chapter, the inverse of sine, the inverse of cosine, they're always within each other, okay? Square and square root, right there. Yes? What is STO and RCL? Um, store and recall. You store, you can actually store an X value and then recall it. Okay, so before we do that, though, I want you to take special note of something that you're going to want to memorize. What is the ln of E without <laughs> using your calculator? Anybody think they know what that would is? ln of E? Think about doing the whole zip. No. Hmm. No. Um, so again, LN means log base E of E. What happens if these two bases are the same? It's one. If I did the whole, you know, set equal to X and go like this, you'd say E to the X equals E. So it must be one. So take note of this, put a little star. The ln of E is one. The ln of E is one. Okay, so first part of homework tonight, the first like four problem, deal with this concept of inverses. You need to evaluate without a calculator. Let me give you a few of them. Actually, you could probably you could do all of these without a calculator except for one of them. And I'll start you off, okay? So, ln of E, we just found out. What does that become? One. one. So, would I write one to the third? No. Because remember this, this is a log, 
So what does that power property say I do with the power? Where do I bring it? In the front. So this is really three times ln e and ln of e make one. So my final answer is three. Let's go over here. What do you think this one would be? What would answer of negative eight over ln e be? Negative eight. This cancels to one, so it's just negative eight. Let me do this another way. <clears throat> what if I e the ln of four? Well, again, e and ln are inverses. They cancel each other out. So these two operations, it would be like me doing the square root of five squared. The square root of five squared, they cancel each other out and you just are left with five, right? That's the same thing with E and LN. They cancel each other out and you're just left with four. So then what would this one be? X That's it. Yeah. Not two, not X. It's just as X squared. There's the E and the LN cancel. What's this one? We've talked about it before. What do you know about what comes after ln, especially when we're talking about a <laughs> negative number? Is it allowed to be after a log? No. You cannot take the log, and I mean, I'll just prove it to you in a calculator here. You cannot take the log of a negative number. Error, non-real answer. And you cannot take the ln of it because ln is a log. So anytime you have the ln or the log of a negative number after it, that cannot, it's no solution. It's not real. Okay. This is the only one you actually need a calculator for. So I'll just do that real quick. LN7 is 1.945. So E to that would be about 7. That's what that means. I'm sure you can handle that, right? It's really easy. Just they cancel each other out. It's so much fun. All right. Now let's expand. Because again, LNs are just logs. So we can expand them, we can condense them. So this is going to be the second part of your homework tonight. So LN of x to the seventh over cube root of x plus two. So let's see if we remember how to do this, okay? When you divide inside of an LN, what do you actually do to expand it? You write it how? You write it with a minus. So ln x to the seventh minus ln cube root x plus two. All right, then what do I do with that seven? Front, Front so it'd be seven ln x. What do I do with the cube root though? Call it what in front? One third ln x plus two. You cannot separate an x plus two. You do not separate that. You only separate times and divisions. That's it. That's the next part of homework tonight. See, you're all complaining and you're not realizing how easy it is. Impossible. It's literally the same thing. It's log of a base E. That's exactly right. Okay. All right, let's do this one. Let's condense this one. I should say expand condense so I don't have to write the word condense over here. Uh, 6 ln x minus 4 plus 3 ln x. <coughs> So condense this one for me. What would this one be? What would be the wonderful final answer? Where does that six go? Um, it's an exponent. Mm -hmm. And where's this three? Exponent. Always do your exponent parts first. So I have ln of x minus four to the sixth plus ln of x cubed. And then what do you do when you add? How do you combine it? You just multiply. You could foil it. I don't need you to foil. That's too high a power. And I like to write the x cubed in front. I won't take off if you put the x minus 4 to the 6th in front first, but that's how I would write it. All right. Now we're going to solve, and, and then we're almost done. Holy cow. Good deal. I can see you're all sleepy. Lunch has gotten you. You're eating right now? Yeah. That's all right. All right, so now we're going to solve. So here's the thing you really need to just get in your head. 
To undo an E, you L N it. To undo an L N, you E it. These are the inverse operations. To undo a square, you square root it. To undo a cube, you cube root it. Okay, it's the same, they're inverse operations. Okay, so first question will be e to the 3x equals 18. I'll even write another one. And I'm literally doing this with calculus right now, reviewing all this again with them because they get to do fun derivative stuff. All right, so let's solve this. When the E is by itself, this is when you do the inverse operation, okay? Once the E is by itself. So now I can go like this. I can say, okay, I'm gonna ln this side. I'm gonna ln this side. Just like you would do log log, you do ln ln. The ln and the E, we just found out what happens to that. They cancel, the three X comes down in front. So I'm just gonna pull it out down here. But please don't forget to write ln of 18. If you don't write ln of 18, you're wrong. You just wrote 18 and it's wrong. And then what do you do to get x by itself? Divide by 3. This is your exact answer, and you can leave it like that. But I do want you to get the decimal answer. And the reason is because I just want you to notice something in the calculator. If I type ln of 18 and then go like this, what have I actually taken the ln of? Six. You've got to make sure you put a parenthesis, then divide by three. 0.963 is the correct answer. Okay, so I want to see both of them. This is exact. This is decimal. All right, let's look at number two. What do I have to do differently on number two that I couldn't do in number one? What do you do differently on number two? Divide by what? Yes, I want to get the E by itself. You don't want to in, you don't want to do anything with LNs until E is by itself. So divide by five, divide by five. So I now have two equals E to the five K. Now I can LN it. LN, LN. I have LN two. This cancels. I get five K, and then just divide by five. So my answer would be the ln of 2 over 5, which is equivalent to about, let's see, 0.139. Okay. So now we go to number 3. I don't have e's. I have ln. So to undo an ln, I e it. Well, before I can do that, I want the ln by itself, okay? So you see this right here, this negative 16.25? What would, what would I do to get rid of it? Divide by exactly, let's divide it over. So 6.5 divided by negative 16.25 is negative 0.4. So ln x equals negative 0.4. Once your ln is by itself, you E it. Now listen to me. This is where people get it wrong and I mark you off on your quiz. You don't put E on the side. It's E to this power. E to this power. That's the inverse operation. It's not E next to the LN. It's the E and the power of LN that cancel. So this is what cancels. And you have X equals E to the negative 0.4. That is your exact answer. You can get this in your calculator, e to the negative 0.4, which I have as 0 0.670. It's e to the negative. That's how you undo an ln, okay? Yes, no, maybe so on those. All right, I only got two more left. I can see you're dying. Come back to me. Lunch like this, so lulled. All right. So remember doing this problem right here? We used to do this one with logs. Okay, so we'd write log, log. If you cannot make these the same base, I cannot make a three into a seven. I cannot make a seven into a three. You can log both sides. That's totally fine. Or you can LN it because LN is a log. It's the same thing. And I would suggest you LN every time. 
unless they force you to log it. Mm -hmm. The people. What do I do with that 2x? Bring it in front. They'll say solve with common logs. X minus 1, ln 7. Tell me what to do after here. What do I do with that? I distribute. Okay. ln 7 is a number, so I can distribute numbers. 2x ln 3 equals x ln 7 minus ln 7. What did I do from here last time with my x's? Get them all on the same side. So I'm going to minus this over. And then what did I what do we do after that with the x's? Starts with an f ends with actor. Good job. Factor out that and then divide by that. And again, if you get this far, I mean, you'll have like probably minus one on the quiz or something like that. Is this is this shows me that you know what you're doing. You just don't know how to finish it off. So here's how you finish it off. You can leave this as negative ln 7. You could even raise it up and call it ln 7 to the negative 1, but really just leave it as negative ln 7. Uh, what do I do with that 2? It becomes the exponent of what number? 3. And so 3 squared is <coughs> 9. So I would write this as what? When I minus 2 logs, what do I actually do with them? So it'd be 9 over 7. And so when you put this in your calculator, you type negative ln of 7, divide by ln, and I like to use the fraction button for this one, of 9 sevenths, close the parenthesis, negative 7.74. For your reference, I could have done log of 7 to the negative 1 divided by log of 9 sevenths and magically get the same number because it's the same thing. It's called the change of base formula. A change of base formula allows me to divide one log on top of another log as long as those two have the same base. It's the same thing. So this is approximately negative 7.74. So now you know how to do it with logs and I, LNs, excuse me, and I would say do everything with LNs now, especially when we get to calculus. We don't use logs at all, really. Okay, last and final question, and we are done. If you see a bunch of LNs, LN, 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 before you even begin solving, make one side LN and another side LN. Yeah, a lot of students were like, I'll eat it, but that would be so complicated to do right now. Don't eat it right now. LN it. Make this all one ln. So let's condense. Okay? So if again, if you're adding two logs, what do you actually do with these two things? Multiply. So this would be x plus 2 times 3x minus 2, which is 3x squared plus 2x minus 4. Yeah. And then where does this 2 go? To the 2x, not to the x. So really, this is the ln of what? 4x squared. Yes. Don't write, don't write 2x squared. Don't write that the x is being squared. Everything is being squared. Okay? And then you could e both sides right now. But then there is also a property that says if you have this log equal to this log, what do you know about these two things? They're equal. So e ing it. I mean, it's just going to make them equal to each other anyway. So 3x squared plus 2x minus 4 equals 4x squared. Anytime I have x squareds, I set them all equal to 0, and I like to make them positive, so I'm going to bring all these over to that side, change their signs. So it would be positive x squared, a minus 2x, and a positive 4. What two numbers multiply to positive 4 but make a negative 2? I did something wrong. Mm. I did it up here. This should be a 4. I know, my goodness, 4. Sorry. I was going to say, there is no two numbers, and I know this works out. 
All right, two numbers that multiply to 4 and make negative 4. Negative 2, negative 2. So what is x? 2. two. Okay, question though. No. Don't forget about this. Does that 2 work in here? Will it give me a negative if I plug it in here? No. No? How about here? No. How about here? No. Then 2 will work. Okay? Then 2 is not extraneous. All right. So that's your entire lesson. Now you get to do 16 problems. Thank you, Mrs. Seta, for not giving us another lesson that I could totally teach you in an another hour. Oh, thank you. We all want annotation. Annotation, smanitation. Who cares about English? Math is more important. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you go on my computer? It's a blind thing. Can you just stop it for me? I still have a Take look at the screen. Which one is it? Up there. Up there. Yeah, look at the screen up here. It's blind. And move your mouse. Uh, you might have to 